way to get a pair of these is to go into the cage warrior's cage and get punched in the face by them. My first time, my first pair of these, I got punched in the face for 15 minutes by a big Latvian at Welterweight. Well worth it. But anyway, three things to help you defend punches in four ounce gloves. Number one, hands up is bullshit. If I just put my hands up, see how much space there is. It doesn't protect anything, just hands up. There's loads of space to punch around, and even if it hits me in the hand, it knocks it out of the way, and I get hit with follow up shots. Or even if a right straight hits there, my own hand goes back into me. Really, it doesn't sound as cliche, but you want to curl your back. You watch anyone with a good high guard, uh, Vicente Luque, or Petty Yan. Petty Yan really changed the high guard in MMA. Is you've got to curl your back, because that makes a structure and it hides most weak parts, the weakest targets that they can hit. Your chin and your nose. So we're guarding this, shoulders guarding the chin, we curl our back. That makes a solid structure and it's easier to fire back. So if he's firing a combination, he's firing multiple punches. There. And even if it does get through, it's hit me on the top of the head, which I don't want to get hit on the top of the head, but I'd rather get hit on the top of the head than the chin or the nose. And even if I get hit on the top of the head, I can fire back straight away. Number two is we've got to adapt different guards. It's a temporary solution. I can't put my guard up and expect that to block everything. If I'm trying to fix every strike they're thrown by just doing this, it's not going to work. Because it doesn't take a genius to start fainting, throwing the round, digging to the body. So, we've got to adapt different guards. This can be parry, small movements like we're combing our hair. Just small, not like the full Batman Begins shitty ass Carl Lee fighting style. But just small movements like we're combing our hair. And if we have to, like Ilya Tabura did at the weekend, boom, 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 a big overhand comes, boom. I can use that shoulder roll. I can go between shoulder rolls, boom, parry these, block. I can dip in. If he does go to the body, it's a small crunch in. Using my abs, using my calf, just crunching in. I'm not reaching my arms out to any punch. Even if I parry, it's small movement. So that's number two. Use different defenses. If you're always just there, it doesn't take a genius to punch around it. And number three, this is really important, is I have to fire back. The whole reason we use blocks, we use a high guard, we use a shoulder roll, we use parries, is to make sure we can stay close enough to fire back. If I just do this, walk away, I'm staying at his range of his punches, he's landing clean punches, I'm getting nothing back, and he has no threat. I use this to stay in close, he's firing away, boom, 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 and I'm firing back. You know, you watch people with a good high guard, like your Petty Yams, your Ilya Tiburias, your Vicente Luques, they won't just take it and take it. They're either blocked temporarily to get out of range, if they absolutely have to, or they're using it to stay close, boom, 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 firing back. If he throws his left hook, I can throw my right straight down the middle. If he throws his right overhand, boom, I can chop that left hook through. Hitting that target that he opens up as he throws his right, he opens himself up to the left. As he throws his left, he opens himself up to the right. If he tries to go low and dig to my body, boom, 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 I can dig the upper foot. So as a rule of thumb, never let him get two or three shots off easy with no return. You want to return. That's going to make him hesitant about throwing his longer combinations, and he's he's always going to be partially defensively minded because he's not going to open up. He's not going to think I can just swing this to the body because he knows he's going to eat a shot back. Three things: curl your back, adapt different guards, and fire back. Don't take too many shots without firing back. You have anything to say? Um, my name's Leon. His name is Noel.